Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new AGV AX8 EVO helmet. The EVO is the successor to the regular AX8, which is Dionese's, or Dionese AJV rather, the Italian legendary protection. It is the flagship dirt helmet. So this is their top end pro model dirt helmet. Now, before I jump into this helmet, I've already told you it's the top of the food chain from AGV. Let's talk about the Evo and the new version and what changes over its predecessor. Two really key changes in this guy. The first change is going to be the mechanism down here around the chin bar at the peak. It now has a more tapered, rubberized piece that has a shock absorber on the end, if you can see that. And what that's gonna do is the original AX8 and AX8 DS came to a bit more of a point, and it was just one of those features that no one really had a bad experience with it, but they said, you know what, in a crash situation, if your head was gonna rotate down like this, let's just make a softer impact zone that's gonna interface with your sternum or your chest, wherever this guy would come down if you're not wearing some type of um, collar or some type of a platform like a Liat or something along those lines. The other major change is on the inside, the backing here. This padding is a different density. It's a more all-encompassing and different density EVS or, or EVS type foam that around your mouth and the sides of your cheeks, you're gonna have the better ability. If you really take a face smasher in one of these guys and it comes in contact, you have more area that's softer and it's gonna be more forgiving on your face. The other key change for the AX8 Evo is going to be the density of the comfort liner. So in the cheek pads, in the crown, the guts of this guy, which are fully removable, fully washable, antimicrobial, they're now Drylex, which is a more, it's a softer, more supple material, but it's also going to have a different density, so it's gonna fit a better contour to your face. So they've upgraded the guts, just like we saw with the AX8 Evo DS. Here we have it on the AX8 Evo, the same functionality, which is really it goes towards that better fit. Now while we're on the topic of fit, let's talk about the fit on this guy. Intermediate oval head shape. So you're going to have that intermediate round or intermediate oval head shape which is slightly longer front to back. It's gonna mesh really well with what you'd expect from AGB uh, as we move into it here. Now if we look at main construction, the features, you're getting a dirt helmet. There's no visor, replaceable peak. You're gonna have the ridge in the back which is nice so that you're gonna be able to uh, you know, have it interface with your goggles and they're gonna stay in one spot. You know, if we look at the front, your front's going to have the replaceable, removable roost guard or vent that's gonna have um, some foam backing for easy, to make it easy to clean. It's a non-removable nose guard. There's no chin curtain on this guy. And let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek at this visor setup. So if we look at it, if I rotate it up like that, you're going to see that it is movable, it is adjustable, and if I put it in that top position and tighten it down, we're gonna see the, the venting. You have two brow vents here on the outside that are gonna vent to your head, and then you have two open and closable top chimney vents, which again are gonna act as scoops. And they go right into, I'm gonna rotate this guy down now. They're gonna go right into the IVS system, which is the integrated ventilation system on the top of the helmet. You're gonna see these two large ridges. If I come this way, you see the two pronounced ridges. They're actually built into the shell. Now this is a DE, DOT and ECE 2205 rated shell that has these ridges built in, and they give you a bit of extra room for airflow to have a less encumbered um, a less encumbered route through the helmet. So the air is going to enter through the front, obviously there's no shield, enter through the brow vents, enter through these top chimney vents, and it's gonna immediately get channeled into this IVS system. This is the same ventilation system that you're gonna see on the GP Tech, on the grid, on the higher end street helmets as well. Moving to the back, you really have two exhausts. You have two Venturis at the top that are gonna allow the hot, steamy air that's full of your sweat, hopefully, to be sucked away, keep your head cool. And remember, when a sphere is going through the air at high speed, you have an area of low pressure that is generated behind the helmet, so again, it creates that vacuum and that air gets sucked out. You know, when we talk about the shell, let's talk about weight. It's the SSL construction from AGV. You know, that's their terminology. It basically means it's their lightest weight construction. It's Kevlar, it's carbon fiber, it's fiberglass, it is a composite. It's the same type of shell that you'd see on the GP Tech, see on the Ridge. Again, that high-end construction. This is a size large. We weighed it three pounds, 2.2 ounces. So to us, that is a very lightweight shell. But also, you have to remember, on a dirt helmet, you're losing that shield mechanism. So again, that's easy to shave ounces down and get to that lightweight um, denominator. As we pull this guy in, let's look at the bottom here. You can see our entry and exit way. You're going to have a high quality double D-ring strap here. And as I pull it down, let's start to pull the guts out of this guy. I'll show you. So we have our cheek pad, again, Drylex. It's a very soft material. It's going to be um, wicking, antimicrobial, antifungal. It's just a nice touch on this guy. 
the same as what we see in their most high-end helmets. Now, I haven't ridden the AX8 personally, but I've spent a lot of time in the AX8 Evo DS. So that DS is that dual sport version with a shield. I found it to be true to form, lightweight, and that intermediate oval head shape. I did about a thousand miles in Italy with Dionese AGV on the Italian Legendary Tour this past fall, and I was wearing the dual sport version of this helmet and was impressed. And it's cool now. It sits on my shelf because it sits on my shelf because I had Agostini, um, Lucanelli, and. Uh, Simoncelli all signed in at the end of that trip, so now it's become a very cool souvenir for me. So I need to get another one that I can continue to ride in. As we look here, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna pull this helmet actually off to the side. Here's our comfort liner, and again, with the updated 3D padding, it's gonna be a nice upgrade in the way that this, if you can pull out an old AX8 liner, it's a, it's a lot more basic than this. So with the 3D padding, the way that it's cut, the way that it interfaces with your head, and the density of the foam, and notice that these are these are high breathability mesh areas that interface with that IVS ventilation system on top. It's just well done. It's a nice step forward. You also have the um, grommets here on the front and then two in the back. It's four snaps to get these guys out. And the last thing I want to touch on is I want to show the inside of this helmet now. Now that I have, I have it open, you can see on the inside are big ventilation holes that have that extra room. You can see this one right here by right here by my finger down here that I'm pointing at is that you can see the airflow is going to come in, hit that IVS channel, and there's a good amount of room between the EPS and that IVS, the outer shell, that allows, again, unencumbered airflow. That just gives you better airflow and better performance. So all in, I'd say that we're fans of the helmet. We're fans of the upgrade they're making. It really shows that AGV is listening. And again, my personal experience riding in the dual sport version of this helmet was a very positive one. So I would have no problem recommending it. We want to hear your feedback though. Are you riding in an AGV AX8 or AX8 Devo currently? Um, leave us a message on Facebook. Like it, dislike it, leave us a comment on Facebook. We want to hear from you. Also, we review new product all the time here at RevZilla.com, so subscribe to us on RevZilla TV on YouTube. As always, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 8 or 877-792-9455. I almost forgot our phone number for a second. Been a long day. And as always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free, we'll exchange for free. If you don't like it, send it back to us. We'll give you 100% back to your card without a restocking fee. And you can earn Teamzilla cash because any order over 100 bucks does so. It allows you to save money on your future purchase. One last note, solids colors start at around that 350 mark and then you get into the replicas, Nitro Circus, um, the Rossi replicas are right around that $400 mark. So again, lots of bang for the buck here from the AX8. Evo helmet from AGV, which you can find at revzilla.com slash AGV. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.